Hi, I'm Christina Bertels from the Weather Channel with your Sky Racing weather update for this Saturday the 24th of March. We're well and truly into the swing of spring and at this time of year weather conditions tend to fluctuate. That's exactly what's been happening in the New South Wales town of Taree. Christina Bertels from the Weather Channel joins us. Christina, what's the story? What's going to happen? Well, Nick, there's been constant drizzle all day in Brisbane with bursts of showers and heavy rain this afternoon. In fact, we've had 19 millimetres since 3pm. This is great for women as well, I guess, who have just had babies as well and want to... That's exactly in the right places. what, yeah, pr you know, motivated her to create the brand. Yummy tummy for mummies. Yes, that's right. An East Coast low caused a freak storm in Sydney on the 8th of March 2012 with heavy rain leading to flash flooding. Another incredible feature of this system was a tornado which ripped through Randwick and Maroubra. That's in the city's east. Can you explain what happened with this system? When you look out across Sydney's Darling Harbour, you'll see so many ferries and sailboats and super yachts, but for one weekend every year, hundreds of paddlers pick up their oars to battle it out in the Chinese New Year dragon boat races. We're continuing our look into cyclones this week as part of the Weather Channel's Severe Weather Month. Now, if you have any kind of question about weather, severe or not, our senior meteorologist Tom Saunders is the man you want to ask. Tom, let's kick it off by talking about the 2011 cyclone Yasi, which is the most powerful cyclone to cross the coast of Queensland since 1918. Your eyewear range is super sexy, sophisticated, glamorous. There are, however, a lot of pretty daggy glasses out there. What do you think people <laughs> should avoid when it comes to eyewear? As we head straight to the maps with Christina Bertels, and we can see that cold front in behind you travelling across the Great Australian Bight. Yeah, looking at the satellite image, you can see the stretch of cloud. That's our cold front making a beeline for the coastline of South Australia and also Victoria as well as Tassie. Now behind that, you'll notice all the speckles broken up cloud. It's a very cold pool of air and that's going to be dropping the temperatures across the southeast over the next 48 hours. A lot of fun. Come all come through with me. <laughs> Meanwhile, throughout the southeast of the country, it's been a hot Saturday. Temperatures hitting the high 30s for many parts of Victoria, Tasmania and even New South Wales. Let's head to the maps to see exactly what's been happening and will happen around the country. <laughs> That's the place to be. That's where it's partying tonight. 